difficult because I think there's some the truth Cold War. Yes, it is. <laughs> does, this sound, does this sound crazy, though? Or do you think is there's something there, maybe? <laughs> I mean, wait, I... The, no, I don't think there's anything here. I thought mainly you were mean, man. I mean, come on, this is... Like, I don't know if you're being serious. But, like, it's good memes. Like, Cold War. It's a new age of threats. <laughs> Hey man, what's up? What's up? How are we doing? I've just had a bunch of revelations about this whole thing. Have you? Yeah, some of it's maybe a bit too schizo, but some of it I think I'm kind of on the money with. You know, have you read Dreams Response yet? Um, actually, no. I, this like Reddit statement? No, not its full Reddit statement. No, I know like the bullet points, but not entirely. Okay. Well, much like you, when I saw that he'd responded to Wilbur Soot's allegation to strongly condemn him. I was like, that's bullshit. You just did a video about your own allegations, right? But, yeah. And I thought it was just to like support himself, like, and, and get good attention off the back of his allegations. But I don't actually think it's to do with that. I think this is all about some gay war between the UK and the US Minecraft creators. Do you know about this? <laughs> no, no, what? So basically. You think so? Yeah, in, in his response, he talks about, like, UK creators and shits on them a bit, right? And apparently AMZ is alluded to be AMZ, spread, like, false rumors about him. And I think that, like, the Wilbur Soot thing was him taking a shot at the UK creators in a way that he can't be criticized for because he's speaking out against abuse, right? Um, and then the George... There's no fucking shot. No fucking yes. shot. Dude, you should read the statement and see what you think. Obviously, don't take my word for it, but this is my new theory. Dude, right? it's a race war. It's a fucking, yeah, it's the civil it is, war. Man. It's okay, a civil fucking... war. You honestly, <laughs> you read again. the statement and put the pieces together. I swear to God, you'll probably maybe. Well, hopefully, it's up to you, obviously. But I honestly think there's something in this. And I think. Okay, but that... isn't George British? Yeah, like isn't his like best friend like British UK? Yeah, but that doesn't matter because George is like a dream associate. He's like a he's like a fucking um, a traitor, you know. It's a, he, token. Token a token, token Englishman. Yes, but he's like a dream associate, so it's that the British thing is less important because when I say the UK creators like Amesy, Wilbursert, Tubbo, those fucking weirdos, right? Okay. Um, and yeah. uh, and uh, you're right. There's more to this as well, though, right? So Katie is friends with Amesy, right? I wonder if Katie has been spun up like a toy soldier by these UK freaks and pointed at George. Like they heard about something happening and they thought they could use it to their advantage. So they've gassed her up and been like, oh, this is like basically rape. And she's come forward with the story. And then they've fucking attacked George, who's a dream associate. So they fired a shot back in the other direction. These are rape nukes that we're dealing with. <laughs> Dude, it's a new kind of fucking, it's a new kind of war, man. I'm, I'm with you. I'm hearing you out. I mean, it's, they definitely got Yes Queen to a fucking oblivion. Yes. And I'm, I'm looking at all these friends. Apparently, Ames friends of the uh, person. Yeah. A lot of these other bigger creators are coming out with their statements saying, I support you. They're friends as well. So they probably had something to do with, like, Yes Queen and to say, like, you were fucking raped or abused. Um, yeah, and it's all kind of directional in terms of, like, you've got this. So the UK group, I think, is, like, Amesy, Tubbo, Tommy in it. And like Wilbur Sirt, but obviously Wilbur Sirt's now kind of out of it, right? Um, and then the US creators are like the Dream, I think like the Dream SMP server people, you know, Dream, George, others, I guess, but I don't know the ins and outs. Of Wait, it, so you're right? saying the US, the US Minecraft creators, Dream strung up the allegation against Wilbur? He got into contact with Shovel? No, and, no, no, uh, that's probably you know. too much. I don't know what the Shovel thing is. <laughs> I think that that was almost like a kind of organic thing that happened. But then yeah. the other people jumping on, I think there's there is a level of Game of Thrones esque maneuvering to it that's happening. But you know, how much of that is actually like it's difficult because I think there's some the truth. Cold to it. rape war. Yes, it yeah, is. It is. <laughs> does this sound does this sound crazy though, or do you think is there something there maybe? <laughs> I mean, wait, I the, no, I don't think there's anything here. I thought mainly you were mean, man. I mean, come on, this is, like, I don't know if you're being serious, but, like, it's good memes. Like, cold rape war. It's a new age of threats. <laughs> if someone I mean, was a raper. Like, okay. <laughs> I just, listen, I know that you're thinking I sound like a fucking crazy old man at the moment, okay? But just, like, think about it, right? This this Kate, Katie person, who is friends with Amesy, who has got an interest in attacking Dream, and his associates, George all of a sudden has this story to come out with, talking about that George basically raped her, especially when you consider that when George told the story, it didn't seem anywhere close to as bad as what she was saying. 
Um, I, I think it's just natural rape. You know, sometimes there's natural disasters. Other times there's wars, you know, done by mankind. And I think this is a natural disaster rape. I don't, I don't really know <laughs> if there's any there's some substantial <laughs> stuff here. I'm hearing you're out. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get the tornado and volcano explosions. It's just part of life. Okay. And, uh, right. Let's go back to the start and to go for the simple ones. Okay. So <laughs> why do you think Dream went after Wilbur? Dream went after Wilbur um, because he's using him as a stepping stone to boost his own like public reputation. Okay, so as in like just because of his own allegations. Um. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's not as malicious as I'm making it out to seem like that he was like deliberately doing it to boost his reputation, or you know, always just like a, a option is that he's just a tard. But um, you know, that's like an unbelievable statement he did immediately to jump on the Wilbur stuff. I mean, it is it's kind really of hard unbelie- to- it is kind of unbelievable, isn't it? It is kind of crazy that you <laughs> yeah. do that, right? Why would he do that, right? Yeah, sure. You're thinking that there's some nebula, you know, some kind of like abstract. Oh, well, he might benefit from it because people are going to see him as a good guy. But I think that's very two D thinking, and I'm at four D right now, trying to get to five D. <laughs> and my four D thinking is he saw it as an opportunity to go after the UK lot because the UK lot have gone after him in the past for his shit. So he could like strike <laughs> a blow at the heart of the UK community in a way that he cannot be criticised for because he's calling out rape. Okay, but, okay, I don't know this dude. I mean, these people are millionaires. They don't have to pay. Like, if we're actually talking about it seriously, these people don't have to worry about like you know. Uh, competition for their fan base. Like Dream uploads a video, it's getting getting millions of views. He's getting thousands of dollars. Like this guy doesn't have to worry about money. He doesn't have to worry about taking out the competition. He doesn't have to worry about okay. his five year old fans going and watching Tommy in it instead of him. Like I mean, he's pretty safe in regards to that. But the thing is, I don't even know. But I might just like... be a secret agent. No, you're, um, you're double. You're yeah, exactly. No, no. Listen, okay. I see where you're coming from, and I, I think. It could be true that it's not about, oh, I need to worry about the competition. This could be good old fashioned grudges, though, because he mentions in his statement, he doesn't name Amesy, but apparently it is Amesy that they're talking about, that Amesy had said bullshit in regards to his allegations when that was going about. Um, and, and like, it's like more of a, a grudge thing, like, well, you came for me, or what's that? One of you guys has been fucking called out for something. Not that anyone's expecting me to, but I'm going to fucking call him out then. And then Amesy sees that and she can't, he, whatever the, can't criticize dream for that because it's like he's coming out against rape but then when an opportunity arises and it could it could be that katie just came forward out of nothing and maybe it was a kind of random occurrence right or something like that but even then amesy was straight on that and straight on top of it and i'm pretty sure they were even saying don't even listen to george and and like going in super hard on george weren't they so do you think it's all crocodile tears it's all performance from uh Katie on stream, it was all fake? Or do you think she was actually just manipulated by AMC and used as a pawn in the Cold War rape games? Dude, that's what I said. It's difficult because, <laughs> dude, that is one thing I'm a bit undecided on, okay? Because, you know, Katie was was seeming like, I, it was like she was wound up like a toy soldier. The yas, yas, the yas, 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 yas lighting, the yas lighting shit, right? But, um, you know, I'm, I'm a bit like, okay, but is she kind of in with the crowd more? You know, like, this is too schizo. I'm not on board with this, but it is possible that they G'd this whole thing up to create a story to go after them. But that is very, that's too extreme, I think, you know? Dude, I, I could see her being used as a pawn, though. You know, she is freshly right? 18, freshly manipulated. Yes. That could yes. happen. Freshly, <laughs> did you see this? Like her saying she was freshly 18. When you yeah. take a look where it's like, hold on, wait, didn't you say this was in summer? Your birthday is in January. Oh, freshly shit. 18 is freshly 18 is when i'm five to six months into being 18 that's retarded usually when someone yeah. says freshly 18 the implication is like you know the, the guy was waiting the day after my birthday to come and like slip in my panties but dude it's five months into you being 18 you're almost more 19 than you are fucking 18 at this point. i mean come on man that was just fucking hilarious so but yeah no, no, dude, I yeah maybe she's a pawn I, i'm i'm following you man i'm following <laughs> i'm following you Dude, listen, I'm not saying that, you know, I appreciate it's a bit schizo, but I'm assuming you're going to go over it later, right? Um, yeah, no, yeah, later tonight on stream. All I say is, keep an open mind, okay? Think of my schizo posting, and I think you might put some pieces together yourself, all right? But can you believe this public response already with this George shit? Man, I mean, yeah, it's, it's really never good enough. Dude, yeah. there's nothing, I, what else could he do? 
There's nothing else he could possibly do in that response. It was the perfect response. And yet he's still getting owned. Because uh, I don't know if you've seen on Twitter, but very much similar to Wilbur, they're latching on to one specific phrase to just perpetuate as if he fucking admitted to it. Where it's that uh, he said, dude, she was just smiling, so therefore she just wanted it. She, she was laughing, so therefore I, she just fucking wanted my dick. I, I heard some people like saying that, dude, a drunk person can't consent to sex. Whoa, <laughs> wait, 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 what? And like bigger creators are saying like, dude, she couldn't consent. Like, okay, can we just chill a little bit too? Consent to what? These guys were apparently cuddling for an hour. His yeah. hand was around this woman's waist for an hour. She was smiling, laughing. They were tickling each other, whatever. The guy, after an hour of cuddling, moves slowly and slips his hand under her shirt to, like, make skin contact to, like, try to, I don't know, get more intimate or whatever. He just makes a move as a guy. And now he's called a rapist. He breached consent. And he's like, dude, you literally cannot make a move as a man. No. Well, I, I think, you know, this as is... much as, yeah, it's insane. I think the lesson, because I don't think it's going to change. I think the only thing that these people can do is just not indulge in these kind of things, which sucks, but it's just too risky. I feel like really. this is the, I feel like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is the craziest one yet. You know, I said this yeah, about yeah. Wilbur, but I feel like it just keeps getting worse. This is the shovel pipeline. You know, you get Shubble making her initial statement, then you got more people coming out, and it just gets less and less and less of a big deal of these allegations until we just have, you know, that one girl who called out puns. I don't know if you read that allegation. Oh, yeah, I did. That oh, was, God, dude, Classic BBD holy woman. fuck, that was, that was a read. That was a read and a half. I, literally, no, he did nothing wrong. He deserves every bit of it, and yes. I'm calling him a rapist on Twitter because he deserves <laughs> it because um, he jumped on Wilbur. But I mean, that was fucking insanity. But this is the shovel pipeline. This is what happens when you contribute to this behavior and you enable people and yes, queen them to oblivion yeah. with no evidence. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I since I've, you know, had my bit of schizo posting about the dream stuff and, and kind of laughed about it more, I'm less like annoyed about it. And I just think these people are all fucking freaks. Like they'll destroy each other. It's funny. It's funny to watch it happen to me now. Um, cause yeah, all oh, actually, do it. Go on. yeah, I, I was watching a little bit um, earlier. No, you said something. I think you went over like a couple of tweets on Twitter talking about the response to the George stuff. And you're just like, you know, th these guys are fucking kids, though. Who cares what they have to think? Where I, I thought that at first, too. Initially, that was my statement, like writing these people off as dipshit kids with no life experience. The no life experience may be true, but I, I don't think you could just write these people off anymore. I'm seeing I'm going to their bios. These people are 22. These people oh, are 24. Yeah cases these people are 21 and they're saying this kind of shit mm. I, I i don't think there's like excuses no more i think it's almost uh you know doing a disservice to how i guess serious this is to just write them off as like yeah, okay these are just dipshit kids though okay but like these are the main people perpetuating yeah. the story and this is like the broad mass public opinion well so, the trouble uh, is is i don't want to like just go on some tirade against like a 14 year old and i'm like oh shit they're 14 oh probably no i get what you mean definitely <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. The more important, obviously, like always, the more important critiques are towards the creators because oh, yeah, there's more sure, than yeah, enough definitely. creators saying the stupid shit. But still, you know, when you get like tweets with 5K likes, yeah. at least, it's and mental. it's saying the most crazy shit, um, you know, I, I feel like you, you, it's worth calling out. It's worth at least like paying a mind to and not just writing off as um, just retard kids because these people are like 23, 24 still saying this. It's not just 14 year old girls who have, you know, never uh, had a date before and had a guy make a move on them. So they assume everything's rape without asking, hey, can I touch your ear? Can I touch your waist? Can I touch your shoulder? That's what these people want. Um, it's, yeah, well, it's know. funny because, you know, Dream in his statement has gone out on a bit of a, a bit of a limb, presumably because, you know, he's friends with this guy. But, but he says, you know, yeah, you can consent silently. That happens all the time. Doesn't mean it's rape. Um, uh, but yeah, these people have not seemingly had much experience. Or maybe they have had experience and they're being dishonest. And they, they lie, you know? I don't know. Okay, that's one. Yeah, dude, that I don't know. Like, people saying, like, dude, question. silence is not consent. <laughs> like, okay, dude, like, these people are incapable of having any kind of, like, semi-nuanced discussion about this. It's insane. Like, like there's no body language, verbal sign. We've got to get Mr. Girl back. To make his the arguments he made, didn't he make some crazy arguments in the in the past? Well, his his was a bit more controversial. Um, his was to do with someone saying no, but him interpreting that they meant yes. I mean, look, but we need him just for the other side of the extreme because we have one crazy extreme. We need him to say, you know what? Maybe, 
<laughs> Maybe even if a girl says no, you could keep going. Okay, that's a meme, but <laughs> no, sure. I mean, we, you know, I, I, look, I don't think the mystic. You know, people were oh, going, he's a rapist. I don't think he's a rapist for that. But like, you know, there is a point to be made of those communications that happen between two people can be done in ways that, if you speak it out, sound weird. You know, like you know, the the playful yeah. fighting and stuff and shit like that. Like that does happen. You know. I mean, but everyone, everyone in existence has taken body language or just like nonverbal cues to make a move on a girl before. I mean, this is, this is the like the fact this has to be said is mind bending. Yeah. Um, and it's not like getting like accused of rape and breaching consent. Silence is not consent. Like I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm still in the outrage, uh, out, 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 outrage cycle. So, um, no, listen, that's that's good. You know, I've I've reached peace with it all, and I'm just laughing at all the funny stuff happening. Um, like for example, did you see? And it was complete bullshit from the start. But Tubbo had like an allegation against them. Oh, oh, have I seen it? I was spamming on Twitter. Say <laughs> Emma's name. Say the victim's name. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, the allegation ended up being bullshit. But did you see his response? It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, he, he instantly about... discounted a woman's story. Yes. And he said this is like there's no like this has no basis at all. Wait, what do you mean? No basis? This is just amount of space. This is the other people you were taking as fact. And accusing yeah. other people of rape for. It it's so fucking funny. Yeah, they've got no grounding. It's all just like whatever benefits me, I'm gonna say. And obviously when you're accused, you've got to say those things because otherwise you're fucked. They just completely corner themselves. It's, yeah. <laughs> dude, it's the most entertaining thing to fucking watch. This is what I mean. This was literally, you know, the Emma person ended up being bullshit. But this was the tactical pedo allegation <laughs> we needed. Yeah. <laughs> and it I worked. Mean, it kind of worked. Well, I, I, it almost, it could have worked better, but, you know, it was still funny. Yeah, no, sure. I mean, the thing is, is I always say, like, I never get involved in fake shit like that. But, um, you know, it was funny to watch. And him kind of on stream, writhing about, trying to explain it. You could tell he was sweating. That was quite, quite enjoyable. I mean, yeah, watch. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to be the guy who's going to literally do the tactical rape false allegation. <laughs> but if someone, but if someone does it, and if Tubbo's having a blatant okay, hypocrisy of well, as he's responding, he's saying like, people. "Dude, I, I'm not, dude, th this girl has no basis behind her allegation." And if he's saying like blatantly hypocritical statements, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play into it. I'm gonna say, "Say Emma's name." He didn't even read out the whole allegation on his stream. That's how much uh, disrespect he was showing the potential victim. So and it's just a hilarious double standard to laugh at. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Um, but yeah, it, it's funny, isn't it? Because all you ever say, all I ever say, all other people say is just wait for the guy to respond or at least give him a chance to respond before you form your final conclusion. And he responds and he's got a good story. And also he's got, he's not shown all the messages, but he's shown like some messages that show they did have some communication after, which really undermines the point that this was always some terrible thing that happened to her. And clearly she's looking back now with a fresh set of eyes and thinking this, right? Yeah, I've, I haven't done my full um, like coverage yet, so I okay. don't have like the most fleshed out takes. But from what I've already seen so far, I already have watched um, the live stream where George did respond. But from already what I'm seeing is that she just completely fabricated and lied about a ton of statements and used very explosive language yeah. when to try to make George out to seem the most predatory, worst guy possible, which is a common trend we're seeing in literally all these allegations. Um, and I mean, to act as if that doesn't hurt her credibility is insane. I think that like it's the same reason why Shubble has hurt her credibility, why um, now this Katie Bugs girl's hurt hers, and uh, you know, plenty of others down the line. I mean, it absolutely does. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, so you streaming later, are you? What time? Uh, probably in about like two, three hours. Okay, I'll. Uh, I'll and this you. puns, this puns, motherfucker, man. <laughs> this puns guy. That was the best one. That was the best one. That was the most entertaining one, where he got accused. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And he had that. And people are actually Wilbur. taking it as real. Like at least you know Tubbo was able to get scot free because it was a uh, tactical rape fake fake allegation, but this is actually a real one. And he's getting owned for it. It's, dude, it's so, it's so funny to see. But, uh, it's yeah, dude, I'll, because, I'll be sure to... I was going to say, it's funny because it's fickle, it's fickle as well because people were calling that puns guy a rapist, but then after he responded, they were like, oh, that's a good response. He's taking accountability, I saw from some people. And you're like, you literally just believe whatever the last... Some people will just believe the last person that spoke. You know, it's uh, kind of crazy.
Yeah, it's a, it's. A, I've seen more people shit on him than support, but it's definitely not as unanimous as the other ones. Yeah, like with yeah. George and Wilbur getting drugged through the mud right now. But uh, no, I'll be sure to look into the Cold Civil Rape War. Okay, the mate. That's all the I UK ask. Okay? Versus the U.S. Just Minecraft keep an open rape. mind. Keep an open mind. That's all I'm asking. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, for mate. sure, man. Have a good, good have a good stream. Yeah, catch you later. Bye bye.